Welcome to the iconic Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. Everybody knows it. It goes all the way to the Pacific. This used to be the original Tower Records, where lots of people bought their records back in the days. But it went bankrupt after Napster opened up the free share, free music on the internet. Right here on Sunset and Larrabee is a Chase Bank now, but it used to be a Tower Video Store. And Axel Rose and Slash used to work here, renting out EHS tapes. And of course, when you're on Sunset Boulevard, the Viper Room can't be missing. Johnny Depp used to own the Viper Room. And this is where River Phoenix died, right here. If you want to see the full video, I got it on my YouTube channel. I did a whole story about the Viper Room. The Whiskey A Go Go was the launching pad for many, many bands like The Doors, Van Halen, Kiss, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, and hundreds and hundreds of more. I remember when they had 11 bands on a Monday night, they have to pay to play. They all walk through this door right here and hoping they're gonna be the next band that's gonna make it big in Hollywood, like Van Halen. Yep, and this is the door where they all walk through. Welcome to the iconic Sunset Boulevard. Right behind me is the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Gold's Gym is the mecca of bodybuilding in Venice. And the rainbow is definitely the mecca of rock and roll here in Hollywood, baby. In the 1930s, the rainbow was called the Mermaid Club. And then they changed it to the Villa Nova in 1944 to 1969. This is how the place looked like. The rainbow bar and grill, the Villa Nova. And right next to the rainbow, the bar and grill, there used to be the One Oak nightclub. There's a cool picture of Nikki Six and Vince Neil in the 1980s, right in front of the rainbow. Look at the hairstyle. Rock and roll, baby. Look how cool this wall is here. Carved, engraved in stone. Queen, corn, Led Zeppelin, Judas Priest, Lincoln Park. Ozzy Osbourne, Guns N' Roses, Myrtle Crew, The Doors, Cypress Hill, The Jackson 5, Queen, that's a lot of work, White Zombie, Fishbone, Smashing Pumpkins, Pack It Up, Pack It In, House of Pain, Biohazard, ACDC, And the king himself, Elvis Presley. That's pretty dope. This one is a really good one up there. Fleetwood Mac, Sting, Rammstein, Bon Jovi, The Muppets, Janis Joplin. That is pretty cool, if those walls could talk, this is Slash, right in front of the Roxy, playing his guitar on the street. In the 70s, the word rainbow signified peace and freedom. They opened the rainbow in 1972, and guess who was here for the opening party? They actually did a party for Elton John. Welcome back. The Rainbow Bar and Grill has been a rock and roll institution for decades. A lot of people tell me I look like this guy, Sam Kennison. I mean, this place has so much history, that's unbelievable. Anna Nicole Smith. Slash Tony Curtis. And I think this is the original cash register from the Villa Nova. There he is, that's me again, right here. This is the guy who was here every Saturday. He came with his cat to the nightclub. His name is Vic. 
He's like a magician. He was sitting at the table always with most beautiful girls. And then he was doing card tricks. That was the table he was always sitting at. He was sitting in the middle and had all the girls around him. He was doing magic tricks. This is the corner where Slash always used to sit. And one day I came here, I saw Pamela Anderson having a birthday party with Tommy Lee also right here in the corner. It took the whole back over. This is booth number one, and this is booth number two. Dean Martin used to sit in that booth all the time. And then we got another picture to match up. This is where Ozzy was sitting. Right here in booth number two. It's changed a little bit in the background, but that was definitely right here. One night I was sitting right here with a friend of mine, and right across from me also in booth number two was Jean-Claude Van Damme totally intoxicated, he had no shirt on, and he was just sitting right here, almost falling asleep. 20 years ago, when you go to the Rainbow, this place was packed. You were rubbing elbows with the stars, but back then they had a no camera policy. You could not bring a camera to the Rainbow. I wish I had an iPhone back then. John Belushi had his last meal here at the Rainbow before he died. alone we got the manager right here that was Michael and then we got Ron Jeremy of course and this was the owner Mario you can't believe it Jimi Hendrix was hanging out here back then Brett Michaels man I have so many good memories in this place just imagine how good of a time the rock stars used to have here Hundreds and hundreds of beautiful girls trying to date a rock star. This place has an incredible vibe. If you look at the Guns N' Roses video November Rain, they filmed it right here. You see the windows in the background. That all was filmed right here in the rainbow. dark in here. I even have a picture of the Villa Nova how it looked back then. Those are the single booths right here. I must say the food is incredible. You always like the Chinese chicken salad but they have really great pizza too here. <laughs> Especially when you come from Germany you never see the celebrity before and you hang out at this club you think you're like you're in paradise. I saw the story about the rainbow. The lady was sitting right here and she was pointing to the right and she said that Marilyn Monroe had a blind date with Joe DiMaggio right here at the rainbow. So could have been that this was also the booth number two. But she was on a blind date with Joe DiMaggio right here at the rainbow. Back then it's called Villanova. When you see all the guitars and the drum sets up here, it almost looks like a Hard Rock Cafe or Hard Rock Hotel. I spent New Year's here, I spent Christmas Eve here, even the World Cup. I rolled down like a projector and you watch the World Cup right here. This is the bar area and like I said, this place was packed. Sometimes it took forever to get something to drink. And it's so weird to see it so empty. I just remember it when it was totally full of people. This is the outside patio. They have hundreds of hundreds of pictures of celebrities hanging out there. Mario Maglieri, the owner of the Rainbow, the Whiskey or Gogo, -Go, and the Roxy. He died when he was 93 years old. This year was Let Me Kill Mr.'s area. He was hanging out at this machine all the time. You can actually say he lived here. He was here every day. 
And I just happened to meet this guy today. This is Brian. Motorhead. That was Lemmy's corner right here. And after he died, they put up a statue in 2016. I think that's a pretty good looking statue of him. A local artist from Venice Beach, her name is Mockrock. She painted that mural of Lemmy. There is no bar like this anywhere in the world. Rainbow Bar and Grill, that's the place to be. And this is the way up to the nightclub. But because of the situation we're in, of course it's not open. They also have like an extra VIP area where people could sit. They have like a little area where they were playing live music. Just imagine all the people that walked up here, all those stairs. That place is incredible. I will never forget that place. Good times. I just want to do a quick shout out to my friend Astrid Kifferly from Germany. I know you were standing here many times at the bar. You've been to the rainbow so many times. I hope you do enjoy this video. This is for you. The reason why I did this vlog today is we're supposed to meet here with six people and those people, they're all in the same group. We like to go to different locations and match our pictures. So I was hoping to meet all those people in person today, but they actually changed the location. So it's not the rainbow. We're going to a different location. But I did the vlog already, so I still hope you enjoy the vlog. Tonight didn't really work out the way I wanted it, but I don't want to waste all the footage I did. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. And I see you guys next time. Tschüssing.